Hello and welcome to WebRTC Training Chapter 3. Today we are going to talk about WebRTC and SIP, specifically its similarities, differences and about how can they work together. This chapter has been compressed to reduce the total length of the course, so you can expect the content and the labs to be shorter than others. First of all, my name is Alberto Gonzalez. I'm a senior developer and sales engineer at WebRTC Ventures, and I have been exposed to many WebRTC applications in the past three years. If you have any questions about the chapter or the lab, feel free to reach me at alberto at WebRTC Ventures, or just reach me through Twitter or Slack. The main topics for this chapter will be WebRTC and SIP comparison, why do we need to combine them, how can we have WebRTC and SIP working together, and we will do an interesting lab of doing a WebRTC to SIP call. When you are ready, move to the next lesson.